you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm I'm very well. Now this is kind of you're prom you're out promoting and yeah. you've been sh you've been shooting the movie and you shoot a lot of movies. What do you do when you get to a little downtime? What do you do to relax? Play versus work. Yeah, yeah. What a concept. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I love dancing. You like dancing? I love dancing. I really? Just, yeah. I discovered... Like what kind of dancing? Do you mean you just go to a club and 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 dance with people? A little. Yeah. I right. mean, you know, little interaction with strangers. It's Right. <laughs> right. You'll see. So, you'll dance with strangers. You'll go up to. You'll like go to a club alone and find some people and just start yeah. doing that. Because I found when <laughs> I did it. when I did that when I was in my twenties, I got arrested a lot. I just, really? <laughs> when I showed up somewhere and just started dancing. This I is how I dance, by the way. People out. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people got hurt when no, I danced. I think that's jitterbug. What you were doing? No, that what I was doing was not jitterbug. I'm doing a guy falling out of an airplane. That's. <laughs> That's what that is. There's no other name for that. Now, I understand you're a fan of karaoke. You like karaoke? Yes. Well, it's funny, because a lot of people love karaoke, but they don't admit it. Right. They, you know, they act like, oh, I'd never do that, but if, but then they privately go off and do a lot of karaoke. Well, there's no shame. No, I don't think so. No, I love karaoke myself. I love myself. karaoke myself, too. I think, you know, the whole point is to get up there and break the ice, and so, you know, right. sing a song that's not what you're supposed to be singing. Or now, something. do you try and sing songs that are a little more challenging? A lot of people pick the same, like, Hotel California. They pick the same kind of songs. Do you ever right. try and pick something that's a little more challenging? Absolutely. I think it's very fun. See, it works better with a partner, but mm -hmm. if you do Bohemian Rhapsody, that really gets the party started. Bohemian Rhapsody? That yeah. would be impossible, I would think. Well, There's you look some... a little schizophrenic, but, but it works. You do all the parts yeah. to uh, Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Including the guitar solo, actually. <laughs> You do the <laughs> you do the guitar solo to Bohemian yeah. Rhapsody. Yeah. Can we hear a little bit right now? Uh, well, yeah, I want to hear it. Okay. Well, let's see. It goes. Uh, it goes right. Mama, ooh, I don't wanna die. Sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. Found it a little. Okay, that was good, though. That was... That's it, right? You got it. When I uh, sing the guitar part, it's got more of like a kind of quality. People you, hate it. No, uh, you really captured the urgency. It's it's awesome. You're so kind. <laughs> Uh, that was very good. Now, you you obviously can sing. You did you start out as a singer initially? I did. Yeah, I started when I was uh, eleven, I guess, just for fun, performing around LA with this group of kids. We'd sing cover songs and original songs, and right. just try to bring uplifting messages to everywhere we went. Fairs and um, <laughs> juvie and uh... <laughs> fair. Juvenile delinquent uh, halls, yeah. you'd go there? Yeah. Were they very receptive when you guys were like, hey, ya, hi, ya, ho, ha. <laughs> um, we, we were pretty much like that. Um, was it like an up with people kind of thing or not really? Yeah. We, oh, okay. I mean, we'd sing, um, what's that Michael Jackson song? Man in the Mirror? You know, it's, it's right. very like... Right. We I'm can looking change at... the world and make a better place. Right, right. You got it. I'm looking at the man. Well, I'm not going to sing that one. I mean, uh... Okay, no one... you know what, though? Just for the record, we won over the audience in Juvie. That's good. Well, good yeah. for you. You yeah, went there. I'm being cynical, but that's nice if you can go into a tough environment and win them over with, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you about your personal life. Is it hard for you to, is it hard for you to date because people know who you are? Is that difficult? Do you find yourself being like more reserved or how does it work? Mm, um, I ought to learn to be a little more reserved, actually. I, I just get excited. and I'm totally genuine and I don't, have the presence of mind to kind of play hard to get or something, and I'll be like, hey, so uh, we're going to be friends. And I'm going, going, so, okay, right, I should have given you a couple days. But, but that's really nice, I think. I don't think it's bad that you know, there are so many people out there, men and women, that are playing all these mind games, like yeah. acting like they're not interested. So it's very nice to, that someone's out there saying, like, yeah, I really like you, and let's, let's get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you said that. Right. Well, verbatim. Let's go um, home now. I mean, now. That's, that's crazy. have dinner. Let's um, have dinner. That's nice. Yeah. I think it is good. Yeah. I think it is good. Swim fan complicated things a little bit, but... Because just... you... Beca beca you mean people would be confused with the character that you played in Swim Fan? Yeah. What does that say about them, I guess? But... 
But yeah, why do people was... watch movies and think, you know, people really think I'm Conan O'Brien, you know, they get confused. <laughs> they don't understand. Wait. I'm Chip Whitley, the actor. Right, right. But, uh, but like in, in Swim Fan, you're playing a very, you were playing a very scary character who yeah. gets involved in this relationship and then, and then takes it to this very dark place. So that probably would scare a lot of guys, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Um, I get some crazy looks, like you right. stay over there. And I'm like, um, right. okay. Right. Nice. Yeah. Well, you're. Yeah, this is a. This is a nice character in Flight Plan. Yes. You know, so people won't be scared of this character. But it's a frightening idea for a movie. Yeah. It's. It's definitely a thriller. Yeah. And describe because we're going to show a clip. But, okay. Uh, but tell us briefly the the movie. Uh, the movie is Jodie Foster is flying from Berlin to JFK, mm -hmm. and uh, she loses her daughter on the plane. Right. Which may or not be true because she may be crazy. But um, it's pretty hard to lose a kid on a plane and that's the whole point we don't know I love that there's so many things people are frightened about when it comes to flying an airplane mm -hmm. no one was ever frightened of losing someone on the plane <laughs> you've added this movie has added a whole new dimension of terror <laughs> nobody had thought about and keep in mind someone could just disappear during the flight what <laughs> I was worried about everything else. <laughs> yeah well, we have a clip here from flight plan uh, okay. anything we need to know for this clip no. I think this is you trying to talk to uh, to Jody. Jodie Foster and trying to maybe calm her down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the, the daughter has just been lost and we're not being so cooperative in trying to find her yet. And she's getting upset. Let's take a look at this uh, clip from Flight Plan. Are you in the airline business? You seem to know aircraft design. Yeah, I'm a propulsion engineer. I work for Elgin Air. I mean, I, I just left. <clears throat> Based in Berlin? Look, I know you're just trying to keep me calm. But the problem is not that I'm anxious. All right, the problem is that my daughter is missing and nobody can tell me where the hell she is. <sighs> Do you have any kids? Do nieces count? Yeah, almost. They hate playing hide and seek with me because I always find them. Well, that's a cool idea for a movie. Flight, Flight Plan uh, opens on Friday. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Erica Christensen, everybody. When we come back, Steve Winwood's here. Stick